can you just talk to us a bit about what the Black Lives Matter movement means to you? Yeah, well, firstly, the Black Lives Matter movement means a lot to me. I am quote unquote faced with it. I believe every single individual, you know, has got a part to play in raising our awareness. The first thing we got to do is, is be educated around it. You know, we've got to know what's going on around us. We can't be naive. We can't sweep it under the carpet because the more we do that, you know, the longer this thing goes on. Our guys have obviously toured around the world and some of them have remarked on, on being racially abused. And I, and I just want to spend a little time on Hash because Hash, if you don't know, is one of the nicest persons in the, in the world. I mean, y'all talk about me being nice and, and this and that, but Hash is just a, that. If you look for the, the word nice in the dictionary, you're going to see Hash and Mamma's name next to it. I, I guarantee. For somebody now to, to have a go at Hash, not knowing anything about his personality or who he is as a person, what he stands for, it's sad. It's, it's just sad knowing that someone so nice could be could be picked upon, you know? And you now see things like be, or being published more so around Joff. Obviously, Joff is somebody who's close to us. It's hard for him in this system too to speak out, speak out about it because he always feels as... I get the impression, I should say, that he feels sometimes as though he's an outsider, you know? And environments like, like such as this could make you or break you if you're not strong enough, you know? And, and that's why it's just so so close to me and to see Michael Holden express himself the way he did you know before our first test match was was very touching I said that I felt it in my veins because it was that powerful you know for somebody to stand in front of millions of people to express what he's expressed and to bring a reality to a lot of people's eyes you know again after he did that it raised awareness to so many different people I hope in a nutshell you understand where I'm coming from and, and that explains how how big um, of an issue it is to me and how close it is to my heart because I believe I as the leader of the West Indies cricket team you know people are, we're seen as public figures we're seen as role models and we've got to set the example it is a deeper topic and we could probably go on and on and on about it and I think education is the next step so thanks for sharing that